Sadly, no trace of Jay was ever found. That's dark, man. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and we are back. If you've been following the channel recently, I basically have gone on a bender. Um, not with drugs or alcohol, but with a little game called Remnant 2. It's literally stolen my life, guys. I have gone a couple days without playing it. I, I don't play it on the channel anymore because I didn't want the you guys to get super sick of it. But, uh, yeah, uh, long story short, I was up till about 4 a.m. last night playing in my own time. And on top of that, the other big news that you might have noticed if you've been following the channel is Metal Mercs, my own Battletech-inspired game that I've been developing over the past few years has shed its fan game origins and really grown into its own thing. And there's so many cool new features and ideas coming down the pipeline. Some are implemented in some form or the other. Some are things I plan on adding. So yeah, uh, you know, there's a lot coming with that. So my time has kind of been divided in a variety of directions. And I put the thousand, I, you know what? I thought I was going to keep doing more thousand one videos while all that stuff was happening, but it just became unrealistic. And I kind of thought to myself, you know what, Jay, you deserve a little break. You, des you deserve a little vacation, you know? As, as much as I do like this Thousand One Quest, it is kind of a slog. It is kind of like a job. It's like every couple of days, you gotta play a game. So I just decided to take a little August vacation, uh, play some Remnant, do some coding, and, uh, and now we're back. We're back. And we're playing The Secret of Mana, which I have heard about almost my entire life. I mean, not... I didn't hear about it before 1993 you know so there was a, a small period of my life where i didn't hear about it but since 1993 i've heard about it as one of the most beloved uh or at least i don't know i don't know if beloved is the right word but it's out there it's out there in the ether you know lots of people like this game they consider it a really good rpg for the super nintendo obviously the kind of experience that you can fully take in in about 45 minutes to an hour so we're gonna do great here today um but no I, i'm excited to see what this game has to offer um and even you know what even though i've never played it i'm looking at the character sprite and i'm like i totally recognize that like i i've just seen it uh because i'm because i've lived my life and i've played super nintendo before so i can just i'm like yep that's that's a, a secret of mana guy using the power of mana a civilization has grown strong i was gonna say what is mana but i guess we're gonna learn Ooh, this is cool sci-fi in time mana was used to create the ultimate weapon the mana fortress this angered the gods they sent their beasts to destroy the fortress cool sci-fi and fantasy and a violent war rocked the world and mana seemed to disappear still unclear on what mana really is for all was lost a hero with the mana sword smashed the fortress though the civilization had been destroyed the world was peaceful again but time flows like a river and history repeats I feel like a lot of it. Ooh, that's that's a cool effect. It's uh, some mode seven stuff there, right? This would have been like mind blowing in the Super Nintendo era. <clears throat> the whole history repeating thing, I feel like shows up in a lot of fiction. I really like it. It, it reminds me of Battlestar Galactica. You know, all of this has happened before and will happen again. That was a great show until it got to the ending. Shh, be quiet. The elder will find us. We're not supposed to be here. There's a ghost around. Ha, do you really believe that? People say that to scare us. Blah, blah, blah. I heard Grandpa say something about the Tiny Falls. So I'm having my breakfast ice cap here while, uh, while we play. So I'm having some sips in between <clears throat> talking. You guys don't know what an ice cap is? I'm not a coffee guy. Never in my life have I been interested in coffee. Always found it disgusting, disinterested. Um, 
don't drink cappuccinos, anything like that. An ice cap is from Tim Hortons, which is a Canadian brand of uh, coffee shops, I guess. And uh, it's basically like uh, a cappuccino slushy. That's the best way to describe if you've never had one. Uh, I think there are Tim Hortons in the States, in like the northern states near the Canadian border. You know, Canada's like seeping its way in. But if you've never had one, give it a shot if you're ever in Canada. It's great. I love it. I uh, sometimes in the summer go through phases where I drink way too many of them. Um, but anyway, um, phew, no way to get back up. Now what am I going to do? I'm loving the, like, look how, look how nice this looks. It's actually like the, the graphics and everything. That all looks really cool. Just the water. Very neat. Like, I'm already impressed by the visuals of this. Okay, I guess we got to go down. <clears throat> you know, now that uh, I've been working so much on my game recently, when I look at somebody else's, you know, another like good looking pixel art game, I'm looking at this, I'm like, man, my game looks like shit, you know? <laughs> but I have to remind myself every game has an aesthetic. Plus, um, you know, not to make this all about me, but uh, one of the big developments that's changed with uh, my games called Metal Mercs nowadays is that uh, now we are seeking support on Patreon and PayPal, and people are starting to support and buy the game, which is awesome. It is, like, so humbling that people are doing that. Um, but with that, you know, new slush fund of cash, it's not big, it's tiny, but with it... Hey, why can't I go forward here? Um, but with that little slush fund, my, my goal is to pay artists, uh, musicians, and other talented folks to make the game better. Okay, I kept going, I kept hearing the voice and going back, but, you know. So anyway, long story short, my game might look better in future, but for now, I think it has a certain nostalgic charm. Anyway, let, let's focus on Secret of Mana here today. Ooh, look, a sword! Can I just jump in? I can't. All right, well, I'm curious. Jay, the village is this way. I have to find something to cut through. Yeah, how about the sword? Okay, I can't jump. Jay, Jay. Jay? Okay, how do I get over there? Is there a way to do it? No, 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 there's not. Okay. Okay, so they're they're trying to tell me something. I'm too dense to pick it up, but they're they're kind of they're boxing me into this little region. They're like there there is a way to get in there. I'm like trying all the buttons. I'm like, am I missing something here? Oh wait, I see. There's a little path right up here. The secret is to stop turning around. Every time I get those dialogues, I'm like, well, if the game's telling me I can't move any further. Gotta go backwards, but I need to just basically keep going forward. Remove the sword! Who are you? Show yourself! What's this random sword doing here? Oh, that light. So bright, I can't see. G ghost! Jay. It is I who asked the sword. I'm sword in man form. You can call me man sword. You mean this sword? You can really tell that they cared about the aesthetics of this game a lot. You know, some games you can kind of tell when, uh, you know, people phoned it in or just like didn't have time or whatever. But I mean, like, we've played other Super Nintendo games that are similar, like a top-down zelda e style game. Um, but then it's sort of like, you know, gameplay-wise, you know, controlling and slicing and stuff, it, this may be very similar to some of the other games we've tried, so it's not, like, all that different gameplay-wise, but where it is different is all the tiny little touches, the subtle little things that just make the game feel more polished. And it's those kind of, like, indescribables that when you play a high-quality game, you just know, A, it's high-quality, and B, they really cared and put as much as they could into every tiny little bit. Oh, my God, this is a bad guy. I thought it was a friend. 
Oh, this is cool. I thought Secret of Mana was like a, uh, a turn-based game. Not only is it very Zelda-y, but I like how it's like the numbers are popping up. It's like way more RPG-ish than, uh, than Zelda. Ooh, look at that. I just clear this away. So, I mean, I don't want to like categorize it yet because we've just started, but I wonder if this is sort of like uh, Zelda for people who wanted more of an RPG experience from Zelda. You know what I mean? Where it, it's not that Zelda wouldn't have been fun for people who liked RPGs. I think Zelda is like universally, it's almost universally enjoyed. I, I haven't met too many people who are like, ah, Legend of Zelda, man, that game sucks. Like, you just don't really hear that. In the same way, you don't really... Uh, like, I've never really encountered anyone who doesn't like Mario. Like, I think when it comes to Super Mario Brothers, it's like people just like it to varying degrees. And some people, like, you know, they, they could take it or leave it. Like, they, they don't love it, but it's like nobody dislikes it. You know what I mean? Um, it's kind of interesting, actually. I never thought of that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I don't think anyone dislikes Zelda, but, I mean, if you're an RPG person, like, having more RPG elements in a Zelda-like game, I could see that being appealing. Um, I, I fancy myself as, like, a light RPG guy. I really do like RPGs, uh, and, uh, Dungeons and Dragons and stuff, loved that as a kid. Rarely played it, but loved it. I just love the concept of it. Um, and you know, like I, I loved playing me some RPGs in, in, in my DOS computer back in the day and stuff. But I, I find that nowadays, I don't know if I have time for like a, a hardcore RPG anymore. I'm just so busy these days, but I like RPG elements in my games. So like, you know, if, if you haven't followed my channel, Remnant 2, one of the games, the few modern games that I, uh, and playing and and which has addicted me recently is sort of like uh it's like a, a third person shooter that has quite a bit of rpg elements to it you have a character class and you level and you have skills and items and all sorts of stuff so yeah i enjoy the the rpg experience um but i guess i i skew a little more towards action rpgs these days Although one thing I always really loved about Dungeons and Dragons, which truthfully, I don't think I've seen any game actually do properly, is the fact that in D&D, you didn't have to fight your way out of every problem. You could like talk or think your way or scheme your way out of problems. I think Deus Ex is the, the RPG that comes to mind that has like the most, the most flesh that out where like, you know, to get into this building, you could sneak in, you could break in, you could, you know, overhear a guard, say the combination and get in that way. You know, you could wear a guard's uniform and, you know, Indiana Jones, your <laughs> Indiana Jones, your way in by pretending to be one of the guards. Um, there was like all sorts of creative ways to solve problems. Um, and I think I talked about this when I played that impromptu adventure game through chat gpt where we just asked chat gpt to make an adventure game for us and it totally did which was shocking is that you know one one kind of game that you might see uh emerge in the next couple of years is a dynamic single player role-playing game because the thing with D&D is you have Dungeon Master. So anything you create, any, any any crazy idea the players come up with, the Dungeon Master being a human who can think, <laughs> can come up with, okay, well, if you did that, this is what would happen, right? Um, and so far, I mean, like programming that into computers has been an impossible feat. How do you teach a computer how the entire world works? Well, now with stuff like ChatGPT, you can. So you could have an AI dungeon master and you could actually play an RPG where you could do the craziest things you could imagine, which, you know, I, I think whoever, you know, makes that game first, it's going to be a game changer. Um, anyway, we found a beautiful little town here. I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do, but let's just pop into some shops. See what's going on. This guy's having a dance party. Look at him. He loves his job. I want to be as happy as that guy in my day-to-day -day life. Oh, it's you, Jay. Elliot was pale. Oh, Elliot was pale and about to faint. What happened? I got no idea, man. Hey, look at this this lady. Wow, all these characters. 
The sprites are like so good. This guy seems to be a knight from somewhere. What's he doing here? Like, look at this lady here. Like, her hair even is so detailed. Oh, let's talk to the knight. Uh, okay, he wants nothing to do with us. I just can't get over, like, her detail and stuff. She's quite attractive, actually. Okay, I need to stop oogling her. Um, anything in this door here? Nope. See, I... I know we're, we're not really that far in this game, and there's probably a lot more to come. I think I have played Secret of Mana briefly. I have a video series, which I haven't done in a while, which is, uh... Like, mini-games. I forget what I called it. Um, but it's mini-games... Uh, from other games, uh, and I think we played, there was like a futuristic speed bike race. Oh no, that's Chrono Trigger. I'm confusing Secret of Man with Chrono Trigger. Man, this guy's dancing too. One night is five gold points. Nah. So I'll save my game, sure. Why not? Why not me? The menus kind of remind me of Shadowrun, which is a game... That was on, uh, Super Nintendo. Crap, I just bought a room. Okay, whatever. Hey, wait, this isn't a room. I'm just sleeping in the lobby. <laughs> what kind of hotel is this? That was a really cool transition effect. I like how everything turned blue except your guy. Ah, the aesthetics in this game, they're just so nice. Can't get over it. Um, I'll fawn over them probably for the rest of the video, just to warn you. Hmm. <clears throat> This guy, this, okay, it's the same, it, here's one lazy part of the game, it's the same shopkeeper in every shop, you know. I'm not gonna dock on points, but we're just saying. Let's see what we can buy. So I'm gonna sit my ice cap while I look here. This is like the most random store ever. You walk into a store, they're selling herbs, candy, pants, bandanas, and a cup of wishes. Whatever that means. Um, what kind of store are you in is the question. No, 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 no. What's happening? Am I buying this? No, no, no. I don't. Get me out of here. I, I think I I almost sold my pants. <laughs> it reminds me of Seinfeld when uh, Kramer's running to uh, he's running to the store to return some pants before they close, and he slips and falls, ruining the very pants he was planning to return. He's telling this to Elaine. She's like, "You were wearing the pants. How are you going to get home?" And he was like, "Are you listening? I didn't even make it to the store." <laughs> uh. Seinfeld's great, man. I think I'm just a, a product of my era. I was, When I was off to get my ice cap, I was thinking about American Gladiators and how good that show was. And I recently watched the Netflix documentary about American Gladiators, talking about how Samuel... Sam... Win, Sam... Samuel Goldwyn. I was like, what the hell's the name of the company that produced it? Uh, they basically screwed over the gladiators and paid them, like, absolutely nothing. Like, it, it was a crime what they did to them. Like, to the point where, uh, their contracts these days would just be illegal. Uh, cause they're, they're so, uh, they were so bad. But, it, I was just like, man, like, if, I, ju I was just randomly thinking about this, and I was like, man, I, if, uh, if Samuel Goldwyn hadn't have been a bunch of greedy Hollywood dicks, they might have... American Gladiators might have, like, gone on for more seasons and not declined in quality and stuff. Um, although, like, you know, it, it did have, like, seven seasons. It might have just run its course naturally, but... I didn't know things like Nitro and Gemini were fired and Ice was fired for a while and, you know, before she was able to come back. And, you know, there's lots of... I don't know, man. Hollywood producers are dicks. Let's just, let's... <laughs> you know, I don't call too many people, like, just, uh, you know, just blanket assholes. But I very rarely heard stories about Hollywood producers where I'm like, man, like, what a good bunch of people. What a, what a good, nice, generous, thoughtful, healthy bunch of people. Um, I think one of the few produ... Produ I mean, I'm, sh I'm certain there are good producers out there. I'm not... 
saying all of them, but I mean, like, on a whole, you know, when a TV show gets ruined, when a studio interferes, blah, 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 you know who it is? It's the goddamn producers and the money men. Um, but I will say I have read some stuff recently about, uh, and I have always liked Seth Rogen. I mean, he's a fellow Canadian, he's an actor, uh, he's a producer, a writer. Um, I, I think he legit does care and does try and do his best to, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I've read, it sounds like he does think about these kinds of things and he doesn't want to screw over his people. Um, and so case in point, I was reading about the new Ninja Turtles movie, the animated one, Mutant Mayhem, I think it's called, that Rogan, uh, wrote and produced and stuff. And they said that, uh... He specifically tried to make sure the animators were not overworked, that they had a work-life balance. And he did an interview where he was like, man, I get paid the big bucks. I'm the one who's supposed to, you know, be like uh, working the hardest. And if I'm not, then like there's something wrong, basically, you know. Um, and I'm like, that's a good mentality. Like, you know, the people at the top making the most money should be the ones working the hardest. And the underlings should be working less hard, have a work, have a life. You know, and, you know, so, so, you know, so to all those CEOs making hundreds of millions of dollars, you better be working hundreds of millions of times harder than your employees. Otherwise, there's, an, there's a problem. <laughs> there's a problem. So, I don't know. Anyway, there's my rant for the day. Um, by the way, speaking of Dungeons and Dragons, just another, like, random non sequitur. Um, I wonder if there's a strategy to fighting these things, by the way, because they seem to dodge. Hiya! 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 Maybe like timing my attacks is better. But uh, have you guys seen the Dungeons and Dragons movie, The Honor Among Thieves, with uh, Chris Pratt, Michelle Rodriguez, Hugh Grant? That movie, I can't remember if I've talked about it in another recent video, but I saw it a while ago, and it is utterly charming. It is so fun. I originally when the movie came out I saw the trailer and I was like nobody asked for that like who wants a Dungeons and Dragons movie a and then like B it almost feels like you need to do it with a gimmick you know like do it where it's sort of like a fourth wall breaking thing where it's like there's the game but then there's like the characters playing the game at a table or something and do it kind of like the Lego movie where it is mostly about the characters but there's a bit of fourth wall breaking and I was like that that would make sense but it is, and it's just like a straight fantasy adventure movie. And so I wasn't interested, but after seeing it, I was totally wrong. It, it is such a fun movie, and uh, I've actually recently been watching a lot of uh, you YouTubers uh, react to watching it. And I don't know, like I, I, you know, it's one of the things I watch on YouTube is people reacting to movies I like or shows I like. And it's always fun to like see everyone's new reaction to things. Am I going backwards? I think I am. I think I just totally went <laughs> back to the start. Okay, hold on. I thought I was making progress. Um, I guess I can just walk past many of these things. Okay, let, let's go see if we can find which way to go here. Um, but yeah, it, it seems to be a movie that is like universally liked. Um, it has like 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, I... If you haven't seen it, hopefully I'm not hyping it up so much that it will never live up to, you know, your expectations. But I, I, I just think it's a fun movie with a great cast, great characters. It's, uh, it, it's almost like a Guardians of the Galaxy where it's like, it's an adventure and there's some serious moments to it, but it, it is very fun along the way. Um, and nobody's annoying. Chris Pine does an amazing job. Um... Did I say Chris Pratt originally when I was describing D Dungeons & Dragons? I might have. Anyway, it's Chris Pine from, uh, you know, the Star Trek movies and stuff. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's a great movie. I really like it. Um, did horrible at the box office because I think everyone thought like I did. They're like, oh, Dungeons & Dragons, who cares? But now I like really hope it does get a sequel. And so speaking of Money Men, um, hopefully they actually give it a shot. From what I've read, it basically didn't do all that well at the box office, but it is getting, like, tons of good praise now. And even though it didn't really make much money or might not have even broken even at the box office, um, some producers at Paramount have said the game... Oh, I think we got to talk to these guys. 
have said that the the movie might actually get a sequel, but it would just have to be made cheaper than the original because it just didn't do very well. And I'm like, you know what? Fair. I that is a fair statement. I'm like, at least they're giving it a shot. Be such a shame if it never, you know, got made. Um Sorry, sipping my ice cap here. Yeah, we're getting we're getting chewed out here. That little kid looks like he's wearing a dunce cap, like the old school dunce. Was that actually a thing in school? Like in the 50s? So anyone who's who's older, maybe, who's watching this, did any was there actually, or is it just a joke? You know, it it's funny, like, nowadays, thinking about it, if you had a kid in class who was, like, struggling, who wasn't doing well and stuff, to literally call them out in front of the whole class, put a hat on them that says they're stupid and make them sit at the back of the class, Oh, this guy wants to beat me up. Please stop. Um, that feels like the exact opposite of what you should do to a kid. Like, that's the kind of thing that will just push that kid further into... Um, oh, we're getting sucked into a hole. Save me, knight! A monster! You have a sword, don't you use it! Hey man, can you hear me? Watch how the monster moves before attacking. Oh, this is cool. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh god. Is there a dodge button? Oh god. <laughs> how do I heal? I'm running away. Oh, he's just hitting me no matter where I am. Hold on. Oh, I almost like threw away my pants. <laughs> what is with the pants? Why are they always like right here? Oh, look at this menu system. I love it. These like little green icons. What does edit do? Oh, you can actually update your controller setup. Wow, that's advanced for this game. What is window edit? Huh. Oh, you can change the color. You can, you can change the effing color of your windows in this game? That, wow. Okay, I'm, I'm dead here, man. I kind of screwed up badly. Hang on, I'll help you. Wait till you're at 100% power. Jay's unconscious. Thing's still trying to kill me, man. 100%, oh. Jay's unconscious. Bad time to sleep, man. Die. Oh, I see. So your power meter, after you attack, you can attack again quickly if you want, but it will be at uh, a reduced amount. Is there a way to dodge? It doesn't seem like there is. Hang on, I'll help you clear your mind. Wait till you have 100% power and aim carefully. Okay. Can I wake up or... Boom! How did that hit me? <laughs> okay, my only complaint is that these attacks just seem to, like, hit you no matter what you're doing. Like, unless I'm missing something here. That was fun, though. I like that. The, like, 100% thing is kind of cool. You can spam your attacks if you want, but it's better to let your attack charge back up so you do 100% damage. I wonder if there's some weapons where it's like worth it to spam where it's like each hit do a poison damage but you do little overall damage so getting to 100% doesn't matter but getting more attacks matters and then maybe there's others where it's like getting to 100% is like really crucial who knows I don't know I don't know how the weapons play out but anyway I don't think that guy's gonna be bullying us anymore and also what was that creature it was like a giant robot insectoid thing that appears to be the real mana sword. Huh? What? It's supposed to be pulled out uh, by a knight in times of great trouble. Problem is, you're too young. Something must have happened to the mana sword. Here, it's yours. Sorry, but the sword is losing its power and must be re-energized. Only the person who pulled it free can do that. What should I do? Visit Sage Luca in the Water Palace. She's been protecting these lands for over 200 years. 
Listen to her advice. Thank you, Brave Knight. Oh, here comes the dunce. Jay, the elder wants to see you in his house. Well, I have to be, have, have to be off now. Oh, my name is Gemma. <laughs> I like how he tells me his name at the end of, like, the conversation. Also, presumably having known him for years. Like, your name's Gemma? I've been calling you Todd this whole time. Why didn't you ever say anything, man? It's awkward now. Elder, we can't go on like this. There's no relief in sight. Oh, Jay. You've done really well. You've done it to me this time. The reason why monsters have appeared is because you removed the sword. Where's that dunce hat? Gonna wear that thing today, boy. Okay. Get out of here. Okay, so they're casting me out. Well, that's sad. I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. They're old yellering me. Get out of here, I never loved you! Don't look back, sweet prince. You can take what's in the treasure chest downstairs. Okay. It's like a random kid in your basement just hanging out. I like how he like smashes, he picks up chests, smashes them on the ground. Hi. Can I take the armor too? It, it, is it all just up for grabs? Should I start rifling through all the boxes? All right. I took you in and I raised you, but there's nothing I can do to help. Please forgive me. I know I've told you this before, but your mother brought you to this village when you were just a babe. Soon afterwards, she disappeared. I took you and have done my best to raise you, but now we must part. I truly hope you can find your mother someday. Goodbye, Jay. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Should have faded away. That would have been funny. Like he's getting erased from time. Okay. Can I go down this way? You have everything you need? I do. I like how town is guarded by like <laughs> a handlebar mustache dude and like a denim biker jacket. That is awesome. You're here by band. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, I thought I'd be able to come back in and out, but I guess I'm just straight up banished. That is funny. You are banished, now get out of here. Hiya! Ooh, I'm doing more damage now. I think I might have leveled up. Okay, so we could go that way. Let's read the sign here. Cannon Travel Center. I guess, well. Hey, who's this guy? Hi, we, the Cannon Travel Center brothers, and building a global network. Going to the Water Palace? Gemma's already left. He paid your way to hop in. Slide into the cannon. Well, this seems like the best way to travel, right? Am I in? Oh, I'm in. Hop in this cannon and we'll fire you at high velocity <laughs> through the lower atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a really cool effect. But I, I sort of like how they did that. It's hilarious. But, uh, yeah. Ima imagine that existed in real life instead of planes and stuff. There's, like, businessmen with their briefcases and stuff. And, like, families on vacation climbing into cannons. And just being fired across the country. <laughs> you look up in the sky and there's just, like, bodies soaring over you. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know why that's so funny. Welcome, to, uh, we came from Pandora. Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> Nothing that way. Anything down this way? Oops. Hold on, before, I, I'm thinking that's the way to go. I have a feeling there's just a cannon up here for getting back, right? Or no, what is this? Oh, it's the Water Palace. Gemma. Let's go, Jay. Wait, you're Gemma? Oh! I thought the little kid was telling me his name was Gemma, but Gemma is the name of the knight. Got it. Alright, dude. I was confused as to who was talking to me. Um... It's a nice palace. 
Hello. So what now? Hey you, where's Luca? Hey, how rude. Luca, it's nice to see you again. Ah, welcome. What, you mean this girl is 200 years old? I'm getting confused as to who's talking to who, who's named what. Uh, my my, looks like you have the mana sword. How interesting, ho ho ho. Okay, is there anything to do? Let me just run through your basement real quick, I, I suppose. I don't even know what I'm doing down here. <laughs> She's like, where did he go? I thought he was... Like, imagine someone comes over to your house, they're like, hey man, nice to see you, and then they just run off into your basement, you're like, uh, hello? I thought you came here to visit. Alright, what am I doing here, man? Uh, monsters are invading the villages, he just fought one. I know, the ebb and flow of water brings me news from around the world. Mana's power is <laughs> growing weak. That's why this boy was able to take the sword. Uh, the balance of mana in this area shifted and monsters revived. Are evil monsters working to steal the power of the mana sword? Still don't know what mana is. Guess they're never going to straight up tell us. Like Maybe it's like the force. Looks like it regains some power from the mantis ant. There must be more power hidden in orbs. Which hold mana power, you must find some. Um, someone who can forge the sword. Okay. Well, I mean, you guys have not been a great help. Oh, watch out for this. Where the Empire seeks to obtain the mana fortress. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Look, just put it in, in, in simple English, please, lady. Be like, go south, kill monster X. My guy did not do well in school. He needs very basic, clear instructions. As your search power increases, so will your ability. Alright. Uh, what are you scared of? The sword. That's THE mana sword, but its power is gone. It used its last ounce of power to summon you. Why me? Why did it choose me? I don't know, but now you must re-energize it. No problem. No problem or no way. You must become a hero worthy of the sword. Okay. Enough. Hold up the sword to the seed. Ah, uh, there we go, finally. For a moment, the seed and the sword became one. You have sealed... The mana seed with your mana sword. Now the mana power from the seed will be sent only to you and your sword. You'll be able to gain power from the mana seed wherever you are. The world has eight palaces. Visit them all and receive the power from them. Okay. Clear instructions. I like it. Take this spear with you. The mana guardians used it long ago. Received a spear. It will grow and regain its power just like your mana sword. There must be more weapons like this spear in the world. Find them. I'll restore you. Sure, I'll save my game. Sounds good. First, head to Gaia's novel. Gaia's navel. <laughs> Ooh. Like Gemma said, look for the underground palace. Reach Gaia's navel, head south through the realm of Pandora. I love these instructions. Clear, direct. Let's go check out this chick's navel. But even the walking animation, well, the stairs are kind of like jittery. That could have been done better. But look at this walking animation, that's fun. Like how his hair sort of bobs. This guy could be in an 80s uh, shampoo commercial with this hair. Pantene Pro V all the way, baby. Or head and shoulders, or... I don't even know what other ones are, honestly. What kind of shampoos exist? Alright. Easy. Oh! New enemy. Some kind of... plant creature. So I think timing, your ta your attacks have to be timed properly. That's the whole thing here. A new village. 
Wonder how long it's gonna take before they banish me from this one, too. Start kicking indoors. Do a little home invasion. It's a cat person. What you got? Uh, really? Nyahaha. What'll it be? Alright, let's see what Catman has for sale. Candy. I'm guessing candy heals you. Or wait, where's candy? I'm lost now. Bandana, barrel, cup of wishes. Oh, let's buy a medical herb. Um, let's buy two of those. Royal jam. Chocolat? Yeah, let's buy a candy. I, I don't know what it does, but... A rabbinite cap. Let's buy one of those. I don't know. Am I supposed to be saving my money? Who knows? Okay. Thank you, Catman. He's the Catman. You like that Scatman song? Wee ba 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 da boop. Ba 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 da boop. He's the Catman. Oh god. Pro that's probably a very horrible rendition of that song. I apologize if you liked that song before you heard me sing it. Yeah, hopefully all paths lead south here, because I'm definitely getting lost. I think they all sort of converge down here. Oh, God. Oh, no, I'm poisoned. Where's my... How do you get unpoisoned? Just in time. Yeah, I think you just kind of have to wait it out. Oh, that's cool. After you've attacked, you sort of glow until you're ready again. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. You know, <laughs> having to pay attention to every flower just to make sure it's not going to get you. There we go. Critical hit. Natural 20. There we go. Come here, fluffy, cute bunny. Let me slaughter you. Killing all this wildlife kind of makes me want to play Don't Starve. That's a fun game. That's another sort of addictive one, though. So yeah, I've been playing a lot of Remnant 2 recently. <clears throat> when it, so it only came out a couple weeks ago. When it first came out... Hello? Oh. Interesting. Didn't know I could do that. Oh, that's kind of a cool shortcut. I like that they do that. Uh, but yeah, I've been playing a lot of Remnant 2 recently. When it first came out, like the first week, I was playing it hardcore. And I was actually uh, playing it mostly on my channel too, which was sort of dual purpose. Kind of the reason I put on my channel was like, man, I'm not going to make a video for a week if I don't, because I'm not going to play anything else. But I've mostly stopped being that addicted to the game. Um, and like I said, I actually hadn't played it in a few days, but I played it last night and, uh, got hardcore into it. And I'll be honest with you, I'm going to play more today. More today, too. But I'm not playing nearly as much as I did that first week. That was, that was crazy, man. It's like the kind of game where you, like, take a week off work to play and, like, you know, in my youth... I would do stuff like that way more frequently. Nowadays, obviously, it's way harder to do something like that. You know, have having bills and family and responsibility and a YouTube channel and indie game and friends. Ugh. So many things that just absorb your time. And how are you supposed to play video games 24-7. Oh, I missed a chest. It's too busy blathering on. All right. Hey, handlebar. Hey, biker guy. He's here. I mean, obviously the game's just reusing sprites. Of course, it's different characters. Why do they have this guy like <laughs> crazy dancing? Well, a customer. Nothing much here, though. All right. Well, screw you. I didn't, I, I didn't even get a look at your inventory. 
You have to equip new armor for it to protect you. Oh, okay, wait. Well, do you have armor? You have candy, a wristband, a kung fu suit? Sure. Is that better than pants? I could sell my pants now if I want. How do we do this? Equip. I can equip that, right? I don't know how to actually equip it. Okay. Didn't I just buy a kung fu suit? What's happening here? Equip armor. Trash. Equip. Oh, here we go. Overalls. Did I take off my pants? I don't know how to confirm. This is so weird. So you press B to select. Okay, B to select, and then up and down go, it seems to go between like hats and stuff. You can move to the trash. They don't want to do. I have no idea how to actually equip things. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, I guess he can't wear a hat. Or a kung fu suit. Okay, I don't understand what's happening. I put my pants back on. <laughs> Briefly took my pants off in this fine... in this gentleman's fine establishment and then put them back on. Uh, okay, let's... let's sleep. Um, are we just allowed to sleep in their bed? We are not. I thought this was an inn. They seem to be in somebody's house. The beautiful young daughter hanging around upstairs. Leave everyone to their business. Let's find... Oh, here it is. In. <laughs> the dancing madman. Help yourself to a bed. Whoa, that'll be ten gold points. Alright. Let me sleep. Dude. And don't stare at me in my sleep. Don't watch me. Even though I wouldn't like to sleep next to a bunch of strangers, it is kind of interesting to think about, like, if this were a real ro uh, room and there was, like, a line of three beds and, like, three random, you know, travelers were here and you, you had to sleep like that, it does seem like it might be kind of fun, like a sleepover. Even if you weren't friends with them or whatever, but... I sort of like the concept more than actually doing it. Which I think is... sort of like every video game in existence you know like i like the idea of running around having adventures swinging swords fighting monsters doing all this stuff but if i physically had to like if i had to go spend eight hours today running through a field fighting animals and stuff <laughs> i mean that's first of all that's psychotic but second of all it wouldn't be all that fun it'd be kind of interesting for a little bit um it's like there's have you guys heard of this tv show naked and afraid they take survivalists, a man and a woman, strip them down to nothing, and literally drop them in, like, the Amazon rainforest. Uh, and I feel like that show is marketed partly on its sexuality, because you have, like, a naked woman and a naked dude, right? Uh, hanging around. But truthfully, it's like, there's nothing sexy about the show. Like, it is, like, they're literally suffering from, like, starvation and bug bites and all this stuff, and you just sort of stare at their butts for, like, 40 minutes. Um... So, you know, it's not, not appealing in that way, but it is like an oddly captivating show because it's like for 40 minutes, I kind of want to watch these people survive for three weeks in the wilderness with nothing and, you know, watch them try and build shelters and, and fires and this and that. And so for like 40 minutes, I would like to do Naked and Afraid, you know, without all the pain and suffering they're actually feeling. But if I had to do it for three weeks, I would hate my life and I would never do it, right? So it's one of those things where, like, in theory, for 40 minutes, I'd like to do it. But in reality, I would never want to. And I feel like that's every video game. Every video game is like, here, come have an adventure for half an hour, one hour, whatever, and then go back to your comfortable life and be comfortable the whole time you're doing it. 
But in real life, most of the things that I do in video games, I would never want to do in real life. It's too boring, it's too hard, you know, etc. Okay, what is happening here? Nobody here is talking to me. Okay, I, I don't know. Guess I'm not allowed to go here. This looks like uh, the uh, the monsters from Ghostbusters. The um, Zool, the Keymaster, and the Gatekeeper, or whatever. There is no Dana, only Zool. And she turns into a dog. Looks like those dogs, the terror dogs, I think they're called, actually. Okay, here. this guy might have answers. For this kid. Help my mama and my papa. Oh no. What's wrong? Okay, nobody can talk. What's happened to mama and papa? Alright, we got a mission now. You know, I'm just pushing that kid around. Oh my god. Oh, that's interesting that you can push NPCs. It's kind of a nice feature, honestly. Like, in some games, they get in your way. Also, very few games give you, like, actual motivation like that, where it looks like everybody has been silenced. Don't you ever shut up. <laughs> this is awful. Uh, it's though they've lost their will to live. Oh my goodness, a town suffering from depression. You don't see this in a video game very much. Okay, we will save you. Like, how many games give you this kind of motivation, you know? Like, there's lit literal children whose parents are now depressed uh, who, who need help, you know? Like, I want to help you now. You know, usually it's just like, ah, hey, here's a dungeon, slaughter all the monsters, but this is like some kind of spell has depressed the town people. And they're not even just telling you that the town people are depressed. You're discovering it as you try and talk to people. The children are begging for help. Like, that is storytelling, man. Don't tell, show. And they found a way to show it in a game. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay, let us... find a way to somebody in charge. The witch up north must be up to no good. People are acting strangely. Okay, the witch up north. If I could find her... Dad, you're impossible. I'll make my own decisions about life. Look out! Oh, she bonked into me. I'm um, going back to pushing NPCs. It's very convenient. A lot of there's so many times in so many video games where an NPC is standing in your way, and it's like, get out of my way! I want to go here. In a lot of modern games, you can kind of push them away, but especially in these older ones, they often just stood there and get you would block you. It's kind of cool. You can physically push them. Anyway, um. Oh dear, I suppose she's so selfish because she was raised by a man. Must be tough since she hasn't had a mother. I wanted to make her happy on her wedding day. That's why I arranged her to marry a young nobleman. But now she tells me she's in love with a soldier. Gotta let her follow her heart, dude. Papa. This is trouble, Sir Elman. Just what do you intend to do? Let's for forget we ever had this discussion. How absolutely impertinent. There's some actual drama going on here. Interesting. Oh dear. I suppose she's so selfish because she... Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Hey man, you heard about this witch that's making everyone depressed and parents of children ignore them? Because I'd really like to do something about that witch. I'm sorry about your daughter, but I'm kind of more on witch duty right now. I'll marry your daughter later. I can see where this is going. Jay, you're here. I suppose you've seen what happened to the people. The witch Aline... Alini is draining the people's energy. Those people are going to the ruins in the southern part of this town. I'll have a look around. Head for Gaia's navel. Okay. I guess he's on depression duty. He's got that covered. What a nightmare. The people in my country are acting like zombies. Troops I sent to fight the witch were captured. Oh no. Is this your private bedroom, man? Am I like... Is it all just up for grabs? You just run around here. Oh, look, even the clock is animated. That's like a nice little touch. Uh, okay, not allowed to just wander into their treasure house. Who are you? This is the first time I've seen the king looking so troubled. All right. Okay, so I guess off to Gaia's navel. I presume, anyway. 
Anything cool in here? It's a little fireplace. All right, onwards. Um, oh, out of the way, kid. Okay, you actually can't push her out. Of oh my gosh, she's blocking that entrance. You actually can't push her further up the stairs. That's the only annoyance. Also, look at this guy. He's like walking into the walls. Not your top brass for guards, I will say. <laughs> He's one of the, uh, let's just call him special cases. Out of the way, sir. I'm gonna push people. Get out of the way, man. She's like, oh, oh my goodness, never have I ever. I got business that needs doing. Um, okay. Where's Gaia's navel, by the way? I thought it was south, but I thought I went as far south as south takes me, and I ended up just at that temple that I couldn't enter. I thought maybe the temple was what I was supposed to be doing. You know what this game could use as a map? I wonder if it has a map. It's trying the buttons. Oh, there's a- I think there's a dodge. Yeah, there is. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's see if we can just keep going south. Out of the way, Bam! Important business. Dodge. Okay, so there's a dodge. Okay, now this is it. Is this guy's navel? I just push these people out of the way now. They don't they aren't budging. Alright, let's just keep exploring. I'd like to do at least a dungeon for you guys here today. I feel like I am getting a sense of this game and how much storytelling is embedded in the gameplay, and I, I dig it. I actually, even though we're not super far yet, I see why people consider this like, a you know, one of the best RPGs on the Super Nintendo. You know, if not like a, a classic and defining RPG even to this day. Kingdom of Pandora. I mean, I honestly might have to look up a walkthrough. Oh, shit. Not again. Back off, plant. Is it dead yet? There it goes. Um, okay, let's just see if there's any other... You know, they did say the wish to the north. What if... Oh, are you serious? The same plant! <laughs> Oh my god. Tap, don't mind me, just having a nap. Okay, is there anywhere? I'm gonna kind of avoid fighting. No, no, no. I'm kind of looking for a witch. No, this is, oh, that was where the, the jumpy thing was, I think, the shortcut. Son of a bitch. Oh, God. I think I'm dead. I did save, though. That's why I was... Uh... Not super worried about... Dying. Alright, there we go. We're back. We're back, baby! Okay. So let me see here. I think there might have been a crossroads. Oh, motherfucker. Get out of here. There we go. There was a crossroads back up over here. Let's just see if... I'm crazy if it was there. Oh yeah, and this can skip us. Wee. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god. I guess I should be fighting these enemies, but I'm just trying to like do this quickly. Okay, this says water palace. 
Potas Village. Did we go this way? I forget if we went this way. Cannon Travel Center. I think we did do this. Oh yeah, okay, hold on, wait. Okay, hold on, just kill me. Kill me, little bunny. Doesn't want to fight me. Huh? You can push th those guys around, too. Okay, hold on. I'm going to look up a really quick walkthrough just to see, like, where we're supposed to go next. Sadly, no trace of Jay was ever found. <laughs> that's dark, man. It's also a little scary because that's my name. That'll be what they put on my tombstone when they bury an empty casket. Um, oh, that's dark. Anyway, uh, okay. So I, I did look it up. Um... We're supposed to just exit the village to the left over here, which I didn't know was a thing. And I think we're set. Um, I didn't look up what happens after we exit the village to the left over here. I think the, um, well, I, I did read that the girl we just saw in the palace, I think, is going to show up again. But it's all we got, so... Uh, try to do it without too many spoilers. But anyway, yeah, that's where we are right now. Boom. Boom. All right. Whoa. Nice try. So yeah, waiting until you get that 100% is crucial. Oh, also... We can totally equip the spear. Look at that. Kind of curious to see if this thing is actually more effective. I wonder if it has a longer range. Boom. So I guess things can, like, defend themselves. Ooh, I got to level 4. So yeah, timing your attacks is critical, not spamming the attacks, and also I, I think dodging might be a thing. It might be possible to dodge, uh, like, the boss attacks with that. Like, remember how, like, that Mantis robot thing was just hitting us with every attack? If we dodge, it might be possible to actually, um... Avoid those attacks. We'll see. I don't know if that's true or not, but we'll see. Give it a shot. This guy is... Persistent. Guy's still around. There we go. Oh my god, there's another one. Patience. Hit and run tactics, baby. There we go. It's all about timing. I do kind of like the timing aspect of it, rather than just, like, spamming the attacks. It does require a little more skill. Uh, which is nice, you know? Like, you can get by by just spamming the attacks, but you do a lot better if you don't. Boom. Oh man, we dominated that guy. <laughs> Eat it, mushroom! I don't know if the spear actually is better, or I'm just not spamming the attacks now so it feels better. But it feels a little better. Oops. Too early. There we go. You kind of have to wait till like enemies are ready to be hit as well, because they'll sort of dodge a little after they've been struck. Oh, didn't mean to pick that up. Pretty sure they don't attack you while you're picking up uh, a chest. So yeah, I would say the only thing I feel like is missing at this stage of the game is uh, a map. If I had a map of some kind, that'd be quite handy. That's a dead end. Wink. Wink. Um, I was mentioning the Shadowrun RPG that's on Super Nintendo uh, earlier in the video, and truthfully, I can't remember precisely what I said about it, even at this stage, even though it was like 30 minutes ago, but... I do kind of wish they made a, more Shadowrun RPGs, and I wish, wish they made one like this. It was a little more open world. 
The one they did make, I really love the style and the feel and everything of it, but it was like sort of like a, an adventure game, like a Sierra adventure game, where like if you didn't know what the next step of what you were supposed to do is, you can't really go too far. So I kind of wish they either made a game like this that was a little more on rails with more combat and stuff like that, or they made just an open world one where like, you know, uh, sort of like... Uh, uh, like Mech Warrior 1 on DOS, only not a 3D game, obviously, but where it's like you just sort of take contracts and do missions and have adventures. And if you want, there's a little plot you can follow, but it's not essential to uh, to playing the game. That, that's a game where I had to look up to find out that there really was a plot because it's like one of those things where like you just think the game is like buying mechs and taking contracts and stuff. And then you find out that, uh, oh, I was actually supposed to be doing something this whole time. And the way the game worked is if you didn't complete the story within, like, X number of years, then the story could never be completed, which didn't really affect the open-world gameplay much, but it was just sort of funny that it's like, oh, man, there was a story I was supposed to do this whole time, didn't do it, and now, like, my guy is forever outcast from his home planet because I didn't complete it. I'm like, oh, well, I didn't even know he had a home planet, you know? <laughs> Ah, damn, that thing got me. We're doing so well here. Lullabud gets whacked. We whacked him good. Medicinal herb won't fit. Wonder if I should use some items. Uh, I guess when you're in combat, you can only like equip items. Okay. Oh, here we go. No, you could do other stuff. Um, do I have items? Action grid. Oh, what the heck? I don't even know how that works, man. I don't even know what I was looking at. This game obviously has controls that are beyond me. Targeting. How about status? Mana power. Do I have, do I even have items? Equipment. I don't even know how to use items. L, R, start. I, I legit don't know how to use items. I don't even know if I have any. Oh, God damn it. Oh my God. Got me twice, man. That jerk. These mushrooms just look so happy. But the bees are dicks. Like, literally, the mushrooms have little hearts on their heads. Look at that. What a kind little fellow there. The buzz bee gets whacked. Guys, naval. I like how they have little signs to direct you. There's no map. Oh, God. How do I use items? Edit. Controller edit. Action grid. Weapons and magic level. That doesn't do anything. Well, I'm going to die from the poison. Status. Okay, it's got to be in here. Um... No. Oh my god. You know what? I'm probably gonna die. Well, yeah, here it comes. Stupid flowers. I will say the flower enemies are rather annoying because they totally blend into this the background. And like, who thinks to watch out for flowers? Like of all the enemies. Also, look how far in the corner I am before it scrolls. Like it's it's scrolling me pretty close to the edge of the screen there. Something pops out, I'm pretty much dead. Um, you know, maybe I will pause and look up how to use items. Oh, that guy was coming for me, man. Almost died. I almost bought it right there. Bought the farm. Candy won't fit. Okay, I have candy. Okay, I gotta, I gotta figure out how to do this. Okay, let's try this. Bring up the menu. Up. Oh, here we go. 
I was pressing down, and I was like, man, why can't I find anything? Here we go. All right. Medicinal herbs. Okay, I don't know how to actually select anything. Candy. Oh my god! All right, we're back in business. Let's party, dicks. Oh, it's cool. There's a bridge there. Um, okay. Oh, there's a shortcut over Oh, look at this flower here. Being all innocent and stuff. That's one of them piece of shit flowers that wants to poison and eat ya. Um, okay. I guess I gotta go up somehow. Or something. I, I don't really know where I'm going. Okay, that's like a shortcut. I thought it said that the, uh, the witch was over this way. Hold on, am I missing something over here? I don't think so. Is there like a little path or something? No. I'm worried those guys can still hit me from the ledge, so I'm kind of keeping my distance a bit. Um... Is this just like... Oh, okay, hold on. Haunted Forest. Guy's Naval is down this way. Alright, alright. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, maybe... It's not down this way, but maybe it's down this way. Okay, I understand. That would make more sense. So I kind of want to go south. Right? Is there any way to go south? Is this where I came from? Totally getting lost. I think this is definitely where I came from. Oh god. Didn't mean to do that. Oh. Or is this a new village? Have I seen this before? I feel like no. Okay, well good to know. I, I so, so wish I had a map. Okay, Guy's Naval is actually up from here. Oh, God. Boom. Oh, my God. I, I'm just trying to back up. I'm not trying to go into the village to fight. I'm just going to skip fighting these guys. It's just a waste of time. All right. The Guy's Naval's up here. Oh, you stupid flower. I'm, the pink flowers now, literally, I'm starting to notice. Which is probably a good thing, but... I still kind of feel like, eh, I don't know, <laughs> flower... Pink, random pink flowers that blend into the background is the best choice. I mean, I guess it's very good camouflage. Ah, oh, you bastard. Very good camouflage on the flowers part. Can't fault a flower for trying. Okay, now the question is... Can we... Oh. Can we find... Oh, here we go. That's that bridge that I saw. I'm just going to skip that flower there. These bees are, like, persistent, man. Come on, buddy. You want some? All right. We're making progress, I think. I can smell that belly button a mile away. Are we just in the same spot? Okay, where the hell is Guy's Navel? <laughs> the haunted forest is up here. Oh my god, look at all these flowers. I don't trust any one of those. Alright. Walk through time, I guess. So I can't even pause the game. <sighs> Gotta kill this guy first. Ooh, level five. I'll take it. All right. All right, from what I read online, it said you could just go into the haunted forest. I mean, I can't find this belly button anyway. So... Let's see what's going on up here. A witch lives up ahead. Oh! Hey, this is, uh, some poor girl went in. I will save her, man. Screw guys, navel. Oh, you jerks. Get out of here. We're killing guys a lot easier now. I do feel, like, gradually feel like I'm becoming more powerful. Um, oh, this... The hell is this guy? 
Some kind of kid dressed up like a beaver. Well, he's gotta die. I hope he was bad. Boom. Ow. 29 damage! 29 damage! 29 are, are you fucking kidding me? I didn't even have it saved! Holy shit, man! Are you... kidding me? Oh my god! Well... No comment on that one. Bullshit! Bullshit! Was I supposed to dodge there? What the hell was happening there? He stunlocked me to death! Oh wait, let's uh, switch weapons here. I like the spear, actually. Oh, you... <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I know where I'm going. And I know how to fight, so whatever. Let's just... We can get back there. It does suck I was like level 5 and now I'm not. I can literally feel myself doing less damage to these creatures, but... All comes in time. Oh, you son of a bitch. Good thing I know how to use my medicinal herbs. Eh, we won't use them just yet, but... Probably will have to use them at some point. Oh, there we go, we're level four. Oh, I even saw that one, I was like, oh, he didn't turn, he must... Not be a creature. He was. Two chests. 16 GPs. And... A medicinal herb. Well, you know what? I might as well use an herb. Eh, actually, no. I'll use a candy, though, because I'm pretty sure he can only have four. I will say in the menus... Here's one minor thing. There should be like an up and down arrow blinking or something like that. Just to like help players like me who don't know you can even do that. Because otherwise, I, I think the menu system actually is pretty slick once you understand how it works. But it is definitely not clear. Um, and I didn't even know. I like I just assumed there was a way to like use my inventory and heal. But uh, couldn't figure it out. So, there's one little, uh, gripe about the game. Um, which way am I going here? I guess I'm going up. Must be a windy day. Look at that grass dancing. So windy. I love windy days. I don't know about you guys. I like windy days and rainy days. I like sunny days too, but, you know. I feel like... In the summer, there's a good number of sunny days, but windy... So here's my thing about summer. I don't like being hot. I'm what you might call a basement-dwelling air-conditioned fiend because I like to be cool and relaxed, and I find the summer sometimes to be sweltering. I like the beach in theory, but in reality, it's just dirty and hot, and you know what I mean? Like, so, you know, I, I, I'm basically a kept fella. I'm, uh, you know, need, need a, a high degree of uh, pampering in life. So I like, uh, you know, uh, coolness. So on windy days, it's actually very nice because you get that breeze. And even on warm days, the breeze like keeps you cool. Also, I really like windy days in the fall and in the evening. Uh, <laughs> sounds weird. It's just fun. I don't know. I just like that there's wind. And the other thing, too... I've said this before to people, and they're like, uh-huh, okay. But I'm like, the wind brings all the good smells to your nose. Uh, you can just, like, sit back and relax and get a whole bunch of good smells from just sitting still. So, uh, I like windy days. Uh, and then rainy days are fun, because being a basement-dwelling air-conditioned fiend, um... I like to sort of just relax inside and stay cozy, you know, under a blanket watching a movie or something like that. And rainy days just sort of amend themselves to that lifestyle. Or like, you know, cuddle up under a blanket with a good video game 
uh, and uh, just spend the afternoon just gaming away. So, rainy days, man. I, I quite enjoy them. Uh, also, thunderstorms are very cool, I find. Just like hearing the thunder and seeing the lightning. There's something, you know what it is almost? There's something sort of, um, having like a common event to all experience. Like if you're in a house and like you have, you know, your friends and your spouse or your kids or whatever, um, you know, sometimes everyone's like doing their own thing, but when it's kind of like rain, it's, it's sort of like everyone like doing something together. It's like everyone's going through and experiencing something. So everyone sort of bundles together and you all sort of you wait out the rainy day together, if that makes sense. I kind of like, like that idea. Um, it's sort of like how in modern days, guys, navels north. In modern days, there's there's many many fewer sort of things that we all collect around. Like for instance, back in the day when TV was live, you know, um, if if you wanted to talk about Friends or Seinfeld or whatever the next day at work, you had to watch it that evening, and if you missed it, not only can you not talk about the next day but you know there's no streaming you couldn't just watch that episode of Seinfeld that you missed later it's like you just wouldn't be able to talk about it or like Simpsons I remember was really big in school so talking about the Simpsons a lot um okay we can't hit the, that guy he's not on our level um and so it was sort of one of those things where like, you know, 6.30 or 7 or whatever time, I forget what time The Simpsons was on, but it would roll around and you'd be watching The Simpsons and you knew that everyone in your class and, and all your friends and stuff, they at their house were watching The Simpsons too, or many of them were. And the next day you would talk about it, but it was like a shared event. It was like the next day you could get together and you all knew that at 6 o'clock you were all watching The Simpsons. And there was something very unifying about that. Um... Nowadays, even if you all watch like Stranger Things, you all watch it at different times and you're some people have finished the show. Some people are two episodes in. So it's like not the same sort of shared experience that it used to be. Um, the only thing I think that still exists that is shared, which I'm not a fan of, but I get why people like, you know, because this actually does the shared experience of it actually does sound appealing is sports. You know, sports is still a shared event. If you want to watch a sports game, it happens at a certain time. You all tune in and you have to watch basically the same stream of it live. And if you don't, you miss it. And and I know you can like rewatch it later, but most people watch sports live. And so it is like one of the last remaining like, you know, water cooler things that you can still do. You know what? I'm going to go save before I go fight this haunted castle stuff. Because I don't... I don't have confidence in my own abilities to survive it. And I don't want to... If we do die again, I feel like... We might have to wrap up, and I don't want to do that necessarily yet. I mean, I guess I probably wouldn't wrap up, but it would be a pain. But I don't want to do this, this part over and over again, so... I think there was a village down here to the left, so let's just find it real quick. I think it was right over here. And there was like an inn right at the entrance. You know what you can use the fast attacks for? So just stun enemies to get them out of the way. If you need to like rush to a village. So that's a good use. Alright. I will stay. And he'll just dance there all night keeping me safe. One thing I do find a little weird is the bar at the bottom, just below the 79 out of 79. I feel like that's my health bar. Like I just glance down, it looks like my health bar, but it's it's mostly unfilled. And so it makes me constantly feel like I have no health. So I guess that's another minor thing. I kind of wish the game actually displayed a health bar rather than, what is that? The, it's the action bar, yeah. The action bar looks like it should be a health bar and that's confusing me. So, another minor gripe. These are minor complaints, I will say. But, uh, small little areas where they could have kept polishing. They could have made things better. No, I don't want to say the developers phoned it in, but, uh, they did a pretty shit job with this game. They should have, uh, held themselves to a higher standard, you know? Actually made a good game. But, uh, you know, who am I to judge? Just kidding, obviously. 
Eat it, flower. By the time I fight this witch, she's gonna be nothing. I'll be like, man, I cut my teeth fighting flowers and bumblebees, bitch. You're going down. What do you got there? Zombies? Skeletons? Monsters? Demons? Take them down like they're a dandelion. Well, that's, these guys are annoying. I'm afraid to, like, look at them because I feel like I'm gonna walk into this spiky wall. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, maybe we just avoid these guys. I kind of want to kill this one guy. There we go. Right, oh, we turned him to bones. Right, I'm going to skip that other guy because he killed me last time. Yeah, man. You like that? Oh, two can play the stun lock game, man. Oh, yeah, level five. All right. That's where we were. That's where we were. Yeah, how about this? Eat this. Eat it. Oh, you bastard. 30 damage. That's crazy. I need some better pants, man. My pants do not protect me. I'll have to hit up the pants store next time we're in town. Okay, you can walk into these. They're not going to hurt you. I was, like, trying to be very... I just assume spikes. You just see spikes in a video game, you're like, can't touch that. But you can. Okay, I'm gonna try and kill this guy here. Oh, you jerk. Haha! Haha, uh -huh, I got you now. Alright, he's dead. All right, where am I actually going? Aha! Can't escape! Okay, there's something up over that way. Oh, um... Here's an idea. Maybe my sword can cut these flowers. Yes! All right! Talk to this guy. Yeah, we meet in a strange place, Per. Need anything? Um. Oh, I can save or I can buy. Actually, wouldn't mind some candy. Keep me nice and healthy. Can't carry anymore. Um, but I will save. Better safe than sorry. Save your game. Let's save under a new save slot. I don't know why, but... Ha! Ha! There we go. He got whacked. Boom! Oh, I'm in here with you now, man! What you gonna do? Nowhere to run! I feel like I'm killing, like, like beaver scouts or something. Or eagle scouts. Uh, in- oh god, what's happening? Oh my god. What the- <laughs> I couldn't even stand! There must be a way to dodge out of that. Okay, well, I am so glad that I saved- I love that death thing. Sadly, no trace of Jay was ever found. <laughs> it's like it- It's, uh, second only to you and your friends are dead from the Friday the 13th Nintendo game. Which I always thought was a great, like, uh, oh, you effed up, man. You effed up bad. Oh, yeah. Now that I know I can actually get in here, you guys are screwed, man. Bitch. Oh, nice try. Here I come, I'm coming to get ya. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just skip fighting these guys, mostly. Kind of a waste of my time. With this guy. You're getting some. Yeah. Okay, so here's here's my thinking for the spam attacks. Also, I like that uh, you can walk into it to enemies and they won't uh, hurt you. So sometimes it is worth it to do a spam attack just to, like, stun them. And then while they're sort of lying on the ground, you wait for your attack to charge up before you do the real hit. 
So sometimes if I'm near an enemy and I'm not ready to attack, a quick attack is worth it just to get the advantage, you know, and like sort of knock them off there. Oh God. Oh, we're just straight dead. Again. Holy hell. Okay, let's try again. I think I should heal up maybe before going in that fight. Also, I think I just got to go in and I just got to go and swing in. Speaking of gaining the advantage. Okay, I'll heal before, right before I go in there. Oh, he's chasing me. Boom. Boom. Okay. Go up. Oh, God. That's okay, though. I could also, like, spend a little time leveling if I wanted. To grind out another level or two. Oh, I love that you can touch enemies, they don't kill you. That That is actually, like, so good. Like, it, it makes sense. Like, certain enemies, of course, touching them should kill you. But then other enemies, it does feel like, uh, like, why would touching this guy kill me, you know? Okay, go in swinging. That's what we gotta do. Oh, I actually survived. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I'm just dead. I think I could do this fight. No trace of Jay was ever found. Okay, I got two ideas here. One is... I think I can do the fight. Let's see if we can, like, level up to, like, level... 6 or 7, maybe? I wonder... If, uh... Jesus. Why did it take so long to kill this guy? You die already? Jeez, turn to bones, sir. Um. So my other thought is if we truly can't beat these guys, why don't we just game genie our way past them? Because I do just want to see a little more of this game, but if it is one of those ones that you just have to, like, grind forever, like, just for the sake of posterity. Uh, for now, I'd say I'm okay doing a little, little cheating, if you guys are. But what I will say is... Oh, god damn it. I'm just straight dead. Son of a bitch. I'm not ready to cheat yet. Um, but what I will say is this is the kind of game that, uh, I might add to my list to one day come back and play. So I've got a list of a handful of games that one day when we're done the 1001 quest and I have more time on the channel that I might want to come back and play. And I feel like Secret of Mana here might actually be one of them. Um, the other Super Nintendo RPG that really stood out to me that I want to go back and play one day is uh, Earthbound. Earthbound I thought was pretty good. Um, very like Stranger Things-esque. Oh, you... Oh, we're dead now. Okay, I think when you get knocked down, it is worth it to, like, try and, like, spam the dodge just to get out of it. Uh, okay, let's... slaughter all these fools. Boom. That's what I want. I want to be... I want to be doing, like, 40 damage a hit. Okay, let's... Oh, no, actually. I can get up in there. Screw them over. Let's go. Let's dance, pigs. Oof. No, 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 no. Okay, here's my chance. Roll. I'm spamming the roll. I don't know if it helped. Blink. I wonder if these guys are, like, worth the effort. Because they are a little challenging to kill. I don't know, like once you stun lock them, it's not too bad. The fact that the enemies can stun lock you, I feel like, is pretty bad. Um, 
I guess here's another thought. Am I even wearing pants? Where's my equip? Yeah, I've got my pants on. Maybe there's better armor we can get. Let's let's try popping back into town. Oh, you bastard. No, 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 no. Yeah, eat it. Oh! Dick. I'm gonna get ya. Oh, you bastard. These guys are so tricky. It's rare to fight RPG enemies that are actually intelligent. Okay, let's just save frequently, I guess. Let's save scum. Save. Yes. Still level five. How much experience do I need to level up here? I need... Oh, only four experience. Okay. Let's go find a guy and kill him. We should find one of these guys that's like the easiest to kill and just constantly kill him. Like this guy is going to be pretty easy. Get him in a corner. Take him to town. Take him to pound town. <laughs> Sounds bad to say it that way. Oh, this guy's really easy to kill, too. Although coming up the stairs will be more problematic if he uh, shoots us while we're coming up the stairs. All right, anyone else around here? Oh, this guy will be easy. Easy pickings. The Chobin Hood. Okay, we need 195. How much experience does each one of these guys give me? Let's math this out. Let's do some math here, people. Nothing. What, do we clear it out? Are they gone gone? Okay, I'm gonna save my game. Okay, here, here's what we'll do. Oh, man, it's like 700 gold. Okay. Save. Um, let's... Let's head back to town. Let's see if we can buy some armor and stuff. And then we will come back and do this fight. But we're gonna... Oh, we can just straight up cut the flowers. I see. Oh! Forgot... Uh, I already forgot the pink flowers are bad. Stop! <laughs> He's like getting in my way to tell me stuff. Get out of here, old man. Boom. There we go. What's to the right, anyway? What did the sign say? Didn't actually say, get out of here, man! Oh, it's, uh, uh, fast travel. They have quite a few fast travel points, which is nice. There we go, we're... I'd like to be able to one-shot those flowers. When I'm at a stage of one-shotting the flowers, then I kind of feel like I'm powerful enough. Also, I really do think the, um, spear is better. Okay. Um, now the village. Oh, damn it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Boom. Village is down here. Let's kill this guy, too. Boom. Yeah, the spear is like level 23 or 23 points of damage and the sword is 22, but it just feels like the spear does way more. I think it has slightly more range and it's like noticeable or something. Um, okay, what is this? So this is the potion master. What have you got for sale, sir? Candy, an elbow pad, a kung fu dress. Ooh, a chain vest. Okay. Hopefully that's better armor. A hair ribbon. What is a cup of wishes? Okay. I like how they put that that cat guy right in the uh, combat zone so you could just buy heals from him as much as you need. Uh, no, this is what I did want. Quip. This. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, level 10 armor. 
That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I can't put on a kung fu suit, apparently. I guess maybe certain armor only works for certain characters. I'm pretty sure you do get a party of people eventually. Get out of my way, kid. Um, I'm looking for, like, another store to see if there's, like, a weapon shop. I think maybe not. When I met the uh, water priestess or whatever, it kind of sounded like weapons uh, you find more sparingly. She was like, maybe find another weapon and it will upgrade you. Blah, blah, blah. So sort of like weapons might be rare in this. Where armor is not. I love this guy. Handlebar mustache, dude. He's, he looks like he's straight out of American Gladiators. Could totally have been a contestant in the 80s. There we go. Alright, so we're just trying to level up a little. Why are we doing no damage to this thing? There we go. We're getting tons of cash in the meantime. Candy! And lots of candy! Sweet, sweet candy! Speaking of Simpsons, you guys remember the... the, uh... the candy joke from The Simpsons? When Homer's like dropping off the babysitter and he's like, then I grabbed her can, her sweets, this was sweet, just thinking about her can. Uh, <laughs> oh man, speaking of touchstone moments too, like I remember kids in my school, like we would talk about that all, not, not all the time, but anytime somebody brought up candy, it was just like a given, like you'd make that Simpsons joke. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Simpsons might be after your time, which saddens me. But, uh, it is just... Classic Simpsons. <laughs> this just in, Homer sleeves nude in, uh... In Oxygen Tank, which he believes gives him strange sexual powers. Hey, that's a half-truth. <laughs> uh, classic Simpsons. It, was, it wasn't an Oxygen Tank, it was something else, though. But Homer sleeps half-nude. It was, uh, like they... They caught him, all the reporters were trying to follow him, and he, like, slipped and fell and passed out. I'm butchering, you know, I'm gonna stop talking. Totally butchering this, I can barely remember the joke, but... Simpsons and Seinfeld, those are the, that's the humor I grew up on. Alright, back to this forest. Let's find this witch. So we gotta... I feel like we should prioritize getting to the witch. Um, oh, actually... Let's see... Status. Okay, I need 154. Just killed that guy. Those are worth 12 each. So if I kill about 12 more, that's a whole other level. I say... Let's go for the extra level. I'm going to switch to my sword temporarily to clear out all these, uh, oops. These, uh, flowers. There we go. Oh, these guys are sneaky, man. Gotcha, man. You're done, punk. You're done. You're done. Oh! I was gonna sneak in there and get him with the, the sword, but he got me. Alright. Oh, you're done too, man. Got you cornered. Like the pig you are. I'm gonna get you, punk. Are these little chipmunk people, or are they just kids dressed as chipmunks? They look like little chipmunk people. Alright, might as well save our game. Save. Yes. Again there. 
Also, I wonder, do you sell any armor? Let's see. Bye. Okay, so here's candy. A wristband. Don't know what that is. I wish, I wish it also said what they did. Like, if there was a little dialogue in the bottom right that was like, this is armor. Like, do I want bandanas? Should I own a barrel? I can almost afford one. What does a cup of wishes do? Is it... I wonder if a cup of wishes is when you die, it, like, lets you respawn or something. Like, what's a fairy walnut? I could look it up, but... I don't know. Too lazy. Also, like, I just want to play, you know what I mean? I feel like for a lot of these old games, um... Like, mo modern games don't really have instruction manuals, so they've done away with the idea of having to look stuff up. But obviously, in a lot of these older games, you would have to look stuff up. But I feel like, um... You know, with some of these older games... Um... If you ever rented games from video stores... You basically didn't have that option. Um, and so there's a lot of classic games, or like you borrowed it from a friend or something, like kids would lose the instruction manual, like... Um, I know when I've played some older games and I haven't been able to figure stuff out, people are like, man, just look in the manual, like back in the day, that's what you would have had to do. But like, I'm from an era where like I borrowed a lot of games, rented games, you know, made copies of games if it was a DOS game back in the day. Uh... Even games where you're supposed to look stuff up in the manual because you'll get answers. I didn't always have that option. In fact, I rarely did, so... Um, I honestly cannot even think of how many games I actually own the manual to. Like, and these aren't games that I borrowed or whatever. These are games that I literally owned, and I don't know how many of them I have the manual for. There's a couple of games that I cherished the manuals and I kept, like Fallout... MechWarrior 2, the Crescent Hawks games, obviously, when I bought the Battletech Power Hits. And that manual was so cool. It had the Crescent Hawks Inception, Revenge, and MechWarrior 1. But yeah, like MechWarrior, MechWarrior 2, Fallout. That literally might be it. I, I think I still own four video game manuals from back in the day. And that's like a pretty good sampling of like what I even had access to. Because I was like, I didn't really keep manuals. This is weird to think about. Okay, 34 more experience. We just gotta find three more of these dudes. Let's... Let's dude this. See what I did there? Okay, we're gonna leave and come back. I'm ha I have a good feeling about this werewolf fight. I don't know if you guys have fought many werewolves in your day. The thing with werewolves... ...is... They're hard to fight, but sometimes you can do it. That's the thing about them. Well, you're done now, buddy. <laughs> I like how he just runs from you. It's act it makes me feel like I'm a bully. You know, like he fires his little arrow and misses, and he's like, oh shit, he's coming for me. Oh god. All right, you're done now, punk. There we go, level 7. Alright, now if I can get through this part with... Oh, getting hit. I won't have to heal. Took a hit instantly. That's okay. Boom! Alright, you guys are... I'm gonna two for one ya. Two birds with one stone, baby. That was sweet. Turned you into bones together. Alright. Need anything. Save. Yes. I think I'm taking significantly less damage from hits, and I think it's due to my armor being like three times better than what I had before. So even though I'm not at full health, I kind of think I can just go in and fight these werewolves. Like, I don't know if I need to burn a whole candy yet, so I just saved the game. Whatever, let's just do it. Oh god. Instantly regret. Puyo. Okay, let's burn a candy. Because we already need to. Oh shoot, I only have two. I should have bought a couple. I'm gonna try and... These guys as best I can. Oh god. 
Okay, so they they can come back slightly before I'm at 100%. You know, girl, if you would like to do something, I would appreciate it. There we go. There we go. Keep him stunlocked, baby. That's the secret! Oh man, I'm doing like, no damage. Okay. I'm gonna do a heal on me too. Oh man, these... Kinda sucks that they're healing. Oh my god. Oh, they just straight up killed me. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna look up what that Cup of Wishes is. I think it might be an extra life. Okay, Cup of Wishes does bring somebody back from the grave, but it sounds like, uh... Like you have to have multiple people in your party, so I'm not sure if it would work with one character. But, uh, yeah. You know what's funny is, I could see if I had played this game like a month ago, me getting annoyed that these werewolves are so hard. But frankly, after having played Remnant 2 for like a month, which, if you don't know, Remnant is sort of like a Dark Souls style game, where it is like very hard and it is, it, it sort of has that NES level of difficulty where it is not uncommon to die frequently like this. I kind of feel like, I'm like, yeah, it's par for course. I'm like, uh, you know, been playing a game that frankly is a lot harder than this. Okay, except, oh, the stun locking to death sucks. That, that, that is cheap. So it's sort of like you kind of have to do this without uh, taking a hit. I had a good there where I had them more or less stunlocked. I just got to like stunlock them to death. Like if they can do it to me, I can do it to them, you know? Like that's the secret, I think. And I don't even know if it is worth fighting these little guys. It's probably better to just... Oh, but you know what I should do? Is stock up on the old can-can. Uh, buy a candy, buy a candy. Also, what are all these other things? Royal jam. Okay, what does a barrel do and what does a walnut do? Okay, the fairy walnut restores mana and the barrel makes you immune temporarily. But, uh, that doesn't really have too many uses. Okay, but... Okay. Save. I'm such a cheap bastard. I could totally spend 20 candy and just get 108 hit points. But I'm like, nah, it's not worth it. I have 926 gold. I'm like, eh, it's not worth the 20 gold or whatever. Okay, but I'm pretty sure I do have the four candies now. Yes, I do. Alright. Alright, Wolfmans. Okay, here we go. Keep them stunlocked. Zet. Keep them stunlocked. Oof. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm tapping the roll button like crazy. Doesn't make a fucking difference. All right, I, I guess I'll try one more time. And, uh, if we can't, if we can't do it, I'll just, uh, add a Game Genie cheat so that we can't get hurt. Just so we can, I, at this point, like, I just want to see past this part, that's all. Um, I, I think my solution would be to just grind out a couple more levels. I guess I could do that. But again, I just, I, I don't know what it would do. Oh, you know what I should do? Okay, I'm going to try switching to my, um my spear that might be better okay and is there anything else I want to do I mean I might as well use the candy the thing is I don't have enough time in the battle to use all three candies and like if they hit me down once I'm kind of dead so whatever I'll go in with max health fuck there we go 
There we go. Oof. The girl is doing very little. I will say she's not helping me in this fight very much. I think the spear is helping because it gives me a little more range. Oh, he's like healing his buddy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, man, it's the stun locking. I can't believe I survived that. Oh god! Why am I talking to her mid-combat? I, 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 I can't get out of it. I'm just dead. I want to do this! Oh, I want to do it so badly. No trace of Jay was ever found. Okay, come on. We got this. Also, let's just check. How how much would I have to do to level up? Um, stats. We need 300 experience. That's not even that much. I don't know. I can't tell if it's even worth it to level up. Because I feel like it's not like I'm not doing enough damage to the guys. It's just I'm taking too much. Yeah, I don't- I don't think it's worth it to, uh... Like, try and go nuts. Trying to, uh... You know... Get a higher level. I'll kill a couple of these guys, because it's fun, and... We'll heal up and stuff, and... We'll see what's what. Come on, buddy. Doing, like, no damage to this guy. The spear definitely is better, I think. It's, like, noticeably a better weapon. There we go. Um, hold on. Nothing for right now. Um, let's use a candy. I think maybe at 100%. Um, it's, it's just tedious to buy this extra candy. That's the only reason I was thinking of not doing it, but I'm like, I guess, I was just thinking, like, if I got to the point in the fight where I was about to win, but I just didn't have enough heal for some reason, I'd be kicking myself, so I might as well buy that candy, might as well save the game. Um, all right, I actually just got a phone call there and was on the phone for, like, 20 minutes, so I literally forgot what I was in the process of doing. I think I was saving my game. Am I fighting the werewolves again? I think that's what I'm doing. I mean, I know what game I'm playing, and I know what year it is, but other than that, I've lost track of pretty much everything. Alright, let's go kill these guys. I need the stupid sword equipped. I mean, you bastard. Ooh. We whacked them good! How much more experience do I actually need here? Status. Only 269 more experience. Okay, maybe... Maybe I should actually... Between failures, we should try and level up, I think. It's the best course of action. Like, you might as well clear all these guys out every time. Because every, like, three or four deaths, we should get a level then. Boom. Boom. Boom! Oh, too early. Boom. You have to give them, like, a tiny window to get up and do things. That's what actually makes the werewolves so damn dangerous. Is... They attack really fast, and they hit really hard. So it's like your, uh... Your window of, uh, to hit them again is, like, really narrow. Okay. Oh, you bastard. You just cost me 20 gold. I'm gonna have to go buy a candy to deal with that. Lick that wound with a sweet tart. 
which actually sounds like it would sting. Oh god. Seal it up with some uh, gum tape or something. Some of that bubblicious gum tape. Oh, like that? You like that? You like that? Anyone else left alive? Alright, I've cleared them all out. So now... Oh, hold on. Let's uh, buy some... Or use some candy. Like any true RPG, there is a grind. If you don't like grinds, then I feel like... RPGs definitely are not your thing, probably. But I enjoy grinds. I enjoy the odd grind. Okay, hold on. What does chocolate do? Okay, chocolate just literally restores a bit more health. Um, what does royal jam do? And just restores more health. All right. I mean, I'm going to buy a bandana because I don't know what it does. Uh, hold on. Nothing right now. Let's check out the bandana situation here. Equip. Oh, I put it on. Oh, I have a little bit more armor. Hey, man, every tiny bit helps. Okay, I have a bandana and pants. Can we defeat these GD... WWs. Let's find out. Oh shoot, I should have switched weapons. Oh god! And the shit show begins. I literally can't get out of this. Just straight up dead. Okay, well. Gotta equip that. And let's use a heal. Let's let's operate under the illusion that if I get damaged, I'm not just dead. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh god. You got me good. I guess you don't want to get cornered. Is the thing. Oh god. There we go. There we go. There we go. Mm. Okay, when when a guy is getting healed, you can't do anything. Let's two can play that game. I'm gonna die because I ate that candy. I'm hitting all the buttons. Every single effing button. Oh, I got out of it. Okay, another candy. This is the longest I've actually survived against these guys. I think the bandana makes all the difference. Ah, oh, come on, you bastards. Oh my god, oh! I thought I actually killed them. Oh, come on. Hit him good. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have moved. Oh, God. Okay. If they have to heal, they can't be killing me. So, you forcing them to use heals is good. Just sucks. That <laughs> they must be getting close to death. And then, uh, I'm actually killing them. How many goddamn heals do you bastards have? Oh, I, I'm doing, I'm doing good. Don't kill me. I'm dead, aren't I? I'm totally dead. Can't get out of this. Fuck. Okay. Gives me hope. Gives me hope. All right, we'll do one last, one last actual shot. And then I'll just cheat my way past this encounter. I guess literally just to see it, and then we'll wrap up because uh, I'm sure it's getting a little uh, tedious for you guys to watch the same encounter over and over. But uh, I really do want to beat this part. 
And I feel like it's possible. There we go. Alright. Let's do this, man. There we go. Ooh, treasure chest. What do we got? Plate mail! Ooh, punch gloves? Oh, what the hell? The treasure chest had gloves that punched me. I, th I was like, ooh, sweet, a cool new weapon. I wonder if it's gonna be good against the werewolves. No, it's just literally a trap there. Oh, well, that was kind. You bastards. All right. At least we're getting the hang of killing these guys. These jabronis. Little raccoon people, whatever the hell you guys are. There we go. I like to see those 24s. The threes and the ones annoy me. The nines. 24, man. A couple times when I was hitting those werewolves, they took like 40 damage. If I could do a couple of hits like that. Oh, ow. That's where it's at, man. That is where it's at. Oh, you jerk. No, no, no. I think um, the thing this game is missing is after you take uh, a hit, you should have a brief period of invulnerability. Even if you want to make it like a quarter second or half a second, like I just needed like a second to get away from those guys. Um, but you just, they don't give it to you, you know? Uh, but I actually was able to use candy and stuff, which means I should keep buying the stuff. Um, and it's actually a good sign that they weren't... Like, they did stun lock me at the end and get me, but... I was able to get out of at least one stun lock there. Okay, how much further am I from a level up? Oh, only 101. That's... I think only like nine more of these guys. We've cleared them. Alright, let's... Oh, there's another guy. We'll take him out. Boom. Boom. See, so going too early, you do less damage. I mean, I wonder if it's worth it to just, like, stun lock them and do, like, three, 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 you know, like... <laughs> and do that till the end. I don't know. Uh, I gotta buy replacement candy. And I will buy... Oh, no. If I could just, I, I swear, I think if the werewolves couldn't heal one another, I would have killed them both by now. I think it's that heal that's screwing me. And I really don't know how many heals they've got, which concerns me. And I will switch my weapon now from a rusty sword, sword into a cool spear. Boom. Boom. Oh, shit. Okay. He's healing already. Oh, damn it. Oh, I think I'm stun locked here. Whoa, they just straight up murdered me. Alright, cheating time! Fuck this game, it's a piece of shit. Nah, no, just kidding, it's, it's hard, man, but, I mean, we've played hard games in our day. All right, Game Genie, save me from myself here. Aha, okay, here's a good one. 999 hit points. I do actually want to, like, do the fight, but, I mean, I guess the thing is just, like, they can just kill me, so... This way I can actually do the fight. Um... So, yeah, again, if I was playing this personally, I probably wouldn't do this cheat. But, uh, oh my god, I got poisoned. That's rude. Um, one thing I, I I did read is that apparently there's another quest you can do before this one, and it makes the werewolf fight easier. You can go get somebody. I guess I skipped that, so I don't know. Frankly, this is like one of the most challenging early fights I've ever seen in a game. It feels like you're not supposed to do this yet. 
So, okay, I'm still going to try, Jesus Christ. Presumably now I can just escape whatever sort of stunlock bullshit they got going on. Oh, this is what you want. Oh god, I don't like that. I'm still gonna do it as if I don't want to get hit by these guys. Because I don't. Oh my god, and I find. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god! I swear to God, in that fight there, I didn't take more than like 40 points of damage. I have 110, uh, 108 health. I'm pretty sure I actually would have done that if I hadn't cheated. <laughs> but now, I'll never know. Because I cheated. That's how close I was to fucking killing those guys, guys. <laughs> That's crazy. It's all about the stun lock. The stun lock, like a few points I was hitting them. I knew I was hitting them early. And I was doing like three or six points of damage. And I was like, I don't care. I just have to keep them cornered and keep them locked. As soon as one gets away, he heals the other guy. They start doing ninja kicks all over the field and then I'm dead. So it's like keeping them locked, I think, is the key there. Anyway, hey, that wasn't too bad. Okay, let's go. Huh? What? Don't be silly. We're going to rescue Dyluck from the witch's castle. What's this we? How dare you? One one other thing I read is apparently you can have up to three players playing this game at the same time. Which is kind of cool. So like multiple controllers. Um, oh, look, we got Zelda. Z-E-L... Wait. L... D... Welcome aboard, Zelda. <laughs> you can call me Zelda. Zelda joined. Oh, we actually have a teammate. Okay, let's play just a tiny bit more. You know, what? I'm gonna turn the cheat off. Cheat on? Oh god. Okay, hold on. I gotta kill the this guy first. There we go. All right, and we kill this guy. Oops. That does not seem like he wants to fight me. I feel bad murdering him, but. Oh, we got to level 8, too. All right, let me turn the cheat off. Okay, cheat is officially off. I do have 999 health points. Um, so we're just going to pretend that's not a thing. <laughs> I wonder if I could just take a bunch of damage. It would... Oh, no, look. I'm back to 117. Good. Okay. Oof. Oh, she took a hit. Get out of there. She's just standing. Okay, she's dead. Zelda sees the Reaper. It was nice having an ally while it lasted, I guess. Spiky Knuckles. Well, it turns out she sucks, so. I have a ghost companion. Oof. It sucks that the spear can't, like, wipe out the flowers or whatever, but it's too good of a weapon. I don't want to, like, actually equip the sword. Sword feels like a noticeable downgrade. Okay, so for those of you who have played The Secret of Mana before, is the werewolf... Are you supposed to do the werewolf fight in the order that I've done? I thought I was going to Ga uh, Gaia's navel. But the... the I couldn't find it, and the thing said just go to, uh, the, the witch's woods or whatever. The guide that I found online that was like, where, where the heck do I go next? Did that eyeball just heal this raccoon dude? Come here, buddy. Nobody gets away from me. Can I... These mushrooms, no, nah, they're not destruct- Those aren't the destructible kinds of mushrooms. Oh, what the heck? Interesting. Come on, bat. Oh my god. It's a balloon on me. I can't do- I can't do anything. He put- a bat put a balloon on me. That is random, man. That's one of the most random things I think I've seen. It's a weird attack. 
I like to see that in a movie where like the hero's trying to escape, you know, like bad guys are chasing him through a carnival and he grabs a couple of balloons and ties them to them and they're like, hey, what the heck? I guess they would have to float away for it to make any sense. So otherwise, what's happening with the balloon? Why does having a balloon tied to your belt do anything? Oh, nice try, chipmunk man. He backs up because he thinks he's out of range, but he is not. He is still in range. I do like the, the combat in this game. It, oof. It's grown on me. It's, again, you know, the my only complaint with the game is the stun locking. Um, I kind of wish... Like, you had, like, a few frames of invulnerability even after... Like, maybe not even... Ah, oh, fucking balloons. Maybe not even, um... Um, whatchamacallit. Not even, like, invulnerability for too long after you have been hit, but just, you need a couple frames to just, like, get away. Without an axe. I've heard there's a dwarf blacksmith in Gaius Naval. Better go to Guy's Naval first. All right, well, our adventure continues to Guy's Naval. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I, you know, despite the fact that those werewolves were a bitch to kill, I still feel like this is actually a good game that kind of sucked me in a bit. Uh, it does sort of feel like Legend of Zelda upgraded with, like, more RPG-ish elements. Um, you know, the combat's a little more intricate. Um... You know what else oh the story is kind of interesting not that not that zelda didn't also have a good story but i kind of like the whole depression town thing was kind of interesting uh, i'd be curious to see like what other story elements exist in this game um i honestly think i'll put this game on a list and you know like we still got a couple years left on the thousand and one thing um so you know no promises is happening anytime soon but uh, I have been enjoying the gameplay and I kind of feel like I could I could do more and so uh, We'll have to come back to this one someday someday before I die. I'll finish this game There's a thousand one video games just play before you die list that we're working our way through and Then there's just video games to finish before you die And that's a private list that uh, I'm maintaining on my own because you know what to, to each their own I say the interesting thing with the thousand and one list is like there are many iconic games and stuff on there that aren't everyone's cup of tea and it is one of those things where i'm like there's certain games where whether you like it or not as a game that you would play personally it's probably good to know about and like uh, for gaming history if you care about that kind of stuff but not every iconic game is a game i like right you know like everyone has their own interests um and so Beyond the thousand one games you just play before you die, I think everyone has a like list of games, however long, of like games I want to play before I die. <laughs> oh god. It is sad when you get to the point in life where you're like literally thinking about uh, you know, how many games am I gonna get to play before I die? Not that I'm checking out anytime soon, guys, but it's like there's so many games out there. There's so many games, and like realistically, how many of them are you actually gonna play? You know? Anyway. Um, guys, it's been fun. If you enjoyed the video, if you liked watching Werewolves Slaughter Me, uh, feel free to like the, the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And, uh, we're going to be back soon with yet another game. I have some catching up to do, so we'll be doing exclusively 1001 content on the channel for a little while, while we sort of catch up since I took a couple weeks off there. But, uh, yeah, it'll be a new game and a new video soon, so I hope you guys will tune back in for that. Till next time, you take care of yourselves, and peace.